Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. This is a follow-up video to the video I posted yesterday, which was basically talking about the importance of clean power. And obviously that is really akin or part of the review for the Niagara 7000, which I've had sitting here for a number of weeks, been looking at me, I've been itching to get it in the system that I've been waiting for this. Oh, wow. This is the Funder, the brand new Audio Quest power cable. This is one in the new range, all designed by Garth Powell. All was basically, um, all our extensions really of what the Niagara does. The same design and thought process that goes into the Niagara has gone into this kind of three layer power cable. I'm not sure if you can see that in here with the light. But yeah, so I figured actually putting something like a power conditioner in the system rewiring everything is actually a big job it's a big undertaking so i thought i'd make a video out of it now for the soundtrack to that video i actually had a listen to the system earlier with something else that audio quest had sent us if you look down on the floor hopefully you can see it here we have a set of oak speaker cables from audio quest which are quite high up in their range big chunky you know serious speaker cables and when i got them out of the box I actually couldn't wait to try them out. And I had a listening session earlier. Wow. Wow. These are seriously good speaker cables. So what I did, I recorded one song. And that song is going to be the soundtrack to the installation of the Thunder power cable, the brand new power cable, specifically for the Niagara and obviously the installation of the Niagara. So don't worry. It's not going to go normal speed. I'm going to speed it up for you. And come the end, we'll have a look at how it's gone.
Okay then, right. About halfway through, I don't know if you've seen there, a lot of messing around, a lot of unplugging, a lot of plugging back in. One of the great things about these types of cables, they're using solid core, um, you know, the, the really high quality copper and stuff that's used in it. It sounds great. One of the negatives of it, it's very, very stiff, especially when they use certain types of, you know, dielectrics and cert certain types of materials that are quite naturally quite stiff. Now, the actual Audio Quest ones are stiff, but you know, supple enough. The cables that I normally use are really good cables, but they are extremely stiff. So it's always a bit of a, a bit of a mission, you know, kind of putting it all in. But we're getting there. So let's crack on. Oops. <laughs> Just quickly, just to explain what I've done so far, obviously I've unplugged a lot of things. I've left some things obviously wired in and plugged in, i.e. the subwoofers because obviously the cable runs along the bottom. I've also left the RCAM plugged in, but they're not going to be connected to the Niagara initially. Initially all we're going to do, we're going to connect the Mark Leveson number 585. I've been a little bit cheeky and kept that specifically for this review and I'll explain why later. So what I've done, I've connected the Mark Leveson obviously to the high, one of the higher current outlets of the Niagara and then we've got three connections currently. We've got one linear power supply, another linear power supply which powers uh, several sections of the audio PC. That big one powers the uh, motherboard and the processor and this one here just powers two clocks. And we've also got here, which you can't see, is a, a Mutec MC Plus 3, MC3 Plus USB which is a USB to SP diff converter. Now. Uh, obviously you can feed USB straight into the Mark Levinson but it doesn't like uh, the drivers basically don't work with Windows Server 2016 which is the operating system I'm using on the audio PC and that's because it sounds best once it's very heavily optimized so that, that's another video so that's what we've got plugged in at the moment we've got the linear power supply linear power supply uh, Mutec MC3 plus USB and the Mark Levinson which is pretty much our system ready to go Obviously I need to plug the mains in the wall, plug our speaker cables back in, and then fingers crossed obviously it all works. Quickly just one other thing, in this room, uh, our cinema room, we have a dedicated mains feed with its own um, circuit board. So basically, which it was all done part of the renovation. So we literally have, there's only really two double plug sockets which powers the whole system and that system alone. And it literally is a four millimeter cable from the fuse board down to a Furatech uh, gold, F -U F -I -U -K gold double socket, which is down in the corner. Now the very first uh, link on the, the circuit is the one that powers the whole system and to keep the you know the power testing to keep the testing of the Niagara fair I've literally plugged straight back into the same main plug that I would use normally so just to keep things all fair so that is really what all this effort is about Right then, let's see if we've got tunes. Success! Everything's a mess. There's literally stuff everywhere. Look at me, state of me. Obviously, I've got everything running. I've just been having a little listen, maybe 10, 
15 minutes and uh <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Uh, wait for the full review. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Let's just say that effort, with, with all the effort, comes reward. Um, I, I'm humbled at the minute. I really am. So, yeah, it, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do the full review. I've got a lot of testing, a lot of things I want to try out, lots of different things. I've got lots of other cables that I want to try with audio quest as well to see how far I can really push this system out how much you know how great a sound can I get from these speakers just how much has the Mark Levinson got to give because it's giving me more than I realized I mean I gave it a great review but it's giving me even more now <laughs> look at this reaction this is genuine this is honestly genuine so uh, I mean that's what this hobby is all about isn't it you know or for me it is anyway I love listening to music and I, but I love it when you know, you, the music becomes more realistic or it just becomes more, you know, authentic or we get, you know, a bigger soundstage or, you know, people will say, oh, I hear things I didn't hear before. I don't really, it's not really that for me. It's more the presentation quality for me when we've got, you know, things are more dynamic, when the vocal sounds more like a voice in a microphone, when all of a sudden, you know, the wide soundstage I get is really wide. Things like that, it just puts a smile on your face. That is what the hobby really is all about. That's what hi-fi is all about is it's making music come to life in your own listening room whatever that be and <laughs> i've waited a long time to listen to this i've been wanting to i've been looking forward to it and wait for the review wait for the review see you soon in the next video